bit different. If you've been to Red Talks before, and a lot of you in here have, uh, typically my speech students will come up and give a, a talk in an area that they're passionate about or they feel like they have some expertise. Uh, today's a little bit different. So today's our exchange student, Nathan, and uh, he, we kind of talked about how he was going to do this. He kind of came in in the middle of the process, so a lot of my speech students already had ideas for their talk. And guys, it's a very vulnerable situation to put yourself in in front of people with a spotlight on you on stage. Uh, so we kind of talked with Nathan on how to do it. Kind of recently came to the idea that he was going to do more of like a Q&A with the audience. But before he does that, he's going to give kind of a mini red talk where he highlights some of the biggest differences between the life in, in France for high school and, and life here in Portland, Ohio. And I think he's got some really interesting things to say. So before we start, just a couple thank yous. This is our last red talk. Raise your hand if you've been to all of them. Anybody? There you go. Thank you. Uh, so, up there with the spotlight is Caden Schrader and Taylor Oakley's done it a few times. That's awesome. They've been great. Uh, Mrs. Pell's digital production class uh, films all these and we put them on a YouTube channel so you can see any talks on a YouTube channel. Uh, and then my students, guys, this, this is lights off, spotlight on you. Every single one of them, all 11 in the speech class, came up here and gave a red talk this year and that is so cool. Uh, so give, it, give a hand for my speech class. Please.
and give me you. But we all know that there's, no, there's going to be like a group of friends only here for the rest of your life. During my time here, my best friends went to my pubs more than when I was here. I think they might like my parents more than me. For continue, one of the main differences to school. That's like the end of my school. That's pretty big. First main difference is that every day we get a different schedule. So in a week, we will never get the same class. Also, the schedule is made by one or two hours of lunch. But we are 3,500 students and 300 teachers. So sometimes we need to eat in 10 minutes because we don't got even the time when we call the people. But we started school at 8 a.m., 9 or 10, because we don't get subs. That depends on your schedule and your class. And we can finish at 4 p.m., 5 or even 6. And we don't go sports or clubs, but I'm going after all that. So yeah, it's different schedule, but what are the rules into the high school? So we are free to go eat everywhere for lunch and go everywhere. If we get only five breaks minutes, we can go buy cooks. I will say more free on that than in the high school. On my first week of at school, I went outside of the school for going into the gym. So all the teachers in the main office was searching me and they called Karma, who finally think find me in the gym. Also, I think the main difference is the food. I think in the lunch, it's that in France we are all eating healthy food in the lunch. And I think it's just a cultural thing. That's like my cafeteria, so it's pretty big. That's my media center, and it's my main corridor. It's like 300 meters. Finally, the more important difference for me it's the sports, and I know a lot of you are in, into school sports, and maybe also clubs of sports. But you need to know that in France, we do not have school sports, only clubs. So yeah, you can be in the same class as someone who plays for your rival club. In France, I'm playing basketball. But, and I came here to improve myself and become more confident. I even arrived at a half of the basketball season, so I didn't really show and play during the game or even during practice. So my experience with basketball wasn't great because of the time I came. But now I'm doing track, and I really enjoy track. Before, I never ran in my entire life. Because for me that was just boring to run. But with the team now, I really like running, and that's something I really came back with. Thank you for listening to me and give, give me your attention. Alright, so let's ask him some questions. My only request is we keep this PG, so we're not asking the craziest thing on a Saturday night before answer something. Um, so, Dagan, go ahead. Which school schedule do you prefer? Mm, I think in France that's like better because we don't have subs. So if a pro, is it, if a teacher is absent, you just don't get class. So I prefer, so I prefer, yeah. Sometimes we don't get because the high school is like blocked by the students because we are like in rebellion. So sometimes we don't get school for like three days in a row. Yes? Do you school dances in France? School dances, yes or no? No. We don't get drama, we don't get dance, we don't get sports. What do you do, like, what's fun at school? What do you do for fun? Um, I, I think just go, like, outside of the school every time we want, in a break. Okay, so school is not meant to be fun. Yeah. I'm not outside of school is supposed to be fun. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yes? What was the process of becoming an exchange student to come here? Um, I, got, I came with an organism called YFU. 
So I just like create my document and GMS choose me because they don't really get another option. They didn't have any other options? No, like for six months, they oh. only get me. Okay. Uh, well, uh, Is America like everything you expected? Is America what you expected? I already came to America like a bunch of times. Whenever. So I, I, I didn't came to high school, but I came like in a vacation. Did you choose America? Yes. Okay, so you actually chose, you, you didn't have like a list of countries? No. Okay, gotcha. Other questions? We'll take one or two more. Yes, Kai. Uh, like, what forms of entertainment do you have in outside of school? What forms of entertainment? Are you talking like we go to movies, we go to mall? Yeah. Okay. What, like, what do you do with your friends outside of school, PG? Um, uh, I, love, I live in a pretty big, like, maybe like Cleveland, 300,000 people. So, yeah, we can just hang out in downtown, go to the parks, go to the theater, go, go to shopping, go play basketball, everything. Really interesting. Okay, yes? What's your favorite food? Your favorite food in America? Uh, I will say pork tarts. <laughs> can you get those in France? No. Really?